I want to talk now about these bandwidths and this is this column here the bandwidth column and you see that we have 22 22 20 40 160 and so on all these different bandwidths well it turns out that the more bandwidth you use up that is to say the higher the range of frequencies that you use the more data at a time you can transmit now the 2.4 gigahertz range has a range from 2.4 to 2.495 and if you remember this table or the chart that I showed you earlier you see down here this 2.4 all the way up this 2.45 or so this area in here is that bandwidth that I'm talking about there or I should say the range that I'm talking about that we can use now we have something similar in the 5 gigahertz range but before I get into that I want to show you how we uh, what we do with that spectrum of frequencies that we can use we divide this up into little five megahertz uh, uh, sections like this and I'm gonna make this bigger so that you can see it a little bit better and there we go so we just take this five megahertz wide uh, band of frequencies and we call out what the center is 2.412 2.417 2.422 and so on so the problem here that you can see is that these things overlap because they overlap if I'm running on this first channel here and I have another radio running on the second channel these two might interfere with each other in fact even if I have one on channel 3 it might interfere with my channel 1 and so what we typically do is separate our radios throughout our buildings so that we're using channel 1 on one of them and then the next nearby one we're using channel 6 and then the next nearby one we're using channel 11 and by doing that we have no overlap at all and these things don't are not going to interfere as much and slow things down now the 5 gigahertz ranges are a little bit more complicated than that uh, we have everything from 5.2 to 5.35 and then from 5.47 to 5.725 we don't actually use the ones in the middle uh, or not right in the middle but this group right here and we have numbered these channels and also these are 5 uh, megahertz apart however what we typically do is we only use four uh, of these at once and so you can see here that we use channel numbers 36 40 44 48 52 and so on I'm going to show you a kind of a picture of what that looks like and yeah this looks a little more complicated so by having these five megahertz apart then that means each one of these channels here is 20 megahertz apart so that's why I use 36 40 44 and so on now those the ones that we aren't are not using those are here in the weather radar area we do not use these so we have to skip over some now you I'm not going to really go into this uni 1 uni 2 uni 2 extended uni 3 and so on uh, because that could get a little more complex than we need to be however I do want to point out that it is possible for us to also group these into 40 megahertz widths 80 megahertz widths and 160 megahertz widths and so if we go back here um, if we go back wherever it was we were oh yeah the chart that's where I was going right here uh, you'll see that when we're using the 5 we're using 20 and here we're using 40s and here we're using 80s and here we're using 160s so this bandwidth has a lot to do with the data rate you notice when I'm using these 80s and 160s I can get much higher data rates than I can when I'm using these 20s and 40s uh, but just a doubling here makes a whole lot more difference here and it's not just this that made that difference by the way there are some things over here that made that difference as well but uh, the, the wider the group of bands that I use the more data I can get on that thing and so that's where we're uh, where we're gaining a lot of our data rates as we go up this ladder here 
Now, I know that's a little bit complex, and unfortunately, you don't have to understand it in any great detail, but it might be, I hope it's a little bit helpful to kind of understand what's going on. Now, I lost my place again uh, to find out, figure out what's going on uh, when we talk about 2.4 and, and 5 gigahertz channels.